Yo, yo, pedalers, what's good? We back with another one, courtesy of Lay on the Pedal. Uh, we're at Ivinson Avenue and 4th Street. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I could almost I-5 this John right here. That's crazy. Um, but this is an older one, same time frame, I believe. Like, I want to say early 80s on this one. Um, you got the small trapezoid backs right here. You got the one up top. Let me zoom in a little bit on that one. You got, uh, it's kind of a, it's trapezoid back and then up top, you got the dot back. It's like a little rounded up top, small green and yellow lenses, big, big red bulb there. Um, what I'm not, you know, this is, you know, the side street off of this one over here for, was that, um, third, third and Ivinson. Uh, I can tell already, I like they've updated the trim. On the outside, the old lights never used to have that. It was just the black trim and that was it. Uh, they've updated the top one with new LEDs, which is real cool. Uh, you got the older style green bulbs here. I wanna say same with the yellow and red. Old style pen too. This is still downtown, so you're gonna notice no buttons here. I mean, they have, a, they have some cutouts for them. But so I, I would recommend how windy weathery it is over here should probably cover that up here's the electrical box for it so um what i'm noticing already is it gives you some walk time and it gives i believe each direction some time to like additional time to go across the street um you're gonna notice these are just the standard round ones we're gonna notice over there the lenses they're gonna be a little different so let's walk across this side see how much time we get here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight seconds. I mean, it gives you a little extra time on the straightaway. Um, I would like to say Ivinson is the main street, not fourth in this situation. I could be incorrect, um, but it gives you eight seconds. It gives you a little extra time. I say you may as well just give it 10 seconds. That'll give me enough time to get through the intersection. And, uh, see how much time this has one two three four five six seven eight nine let's say that's enough for this side i'd say that's enough for this side but you can see these are kind of worn i don't know if you can even see that up there but it's a little bit worn and you see how they're different they're kind of more of a it's cut out you know what i'm saying it's cut out at a little curve. I wonder why those are so bent. But I mean, shoot, it's been 30 years dang there, so. But uh, same style. These are kind of different backs though. Not really kind of trapezoid, but they're, they're a little bit different. They're a little bit different. I wonder what enabled them to have that be, you know, different in general. Um, this yellow light's out, FYI. But uh, kind of old school greens on the rest of it excuse the bell it means it's probably like top of the hour so i mean like i said on the other intersection down there at fourth and grand avenue there should be some type of thing up top to change it you know in case there's a fire truck or something like that i know it's on the timer but at the same time emergency vehicles have priority you could easily have it you know change for the emergency vehicle and then on the other um, and just have it skip a cycle skip a cycle or something like that and it could go right back to what it's supposed to do so but overall i mean again this is larry me please consider my feedback it's not to dish y'all or anything like that just some feedback maybe make your run your city run a little bit bigger i know some people are used to the small town traffic engineer and i come from denver you know what i'm saying aurora colorado so you know it's a lot more busier there than it is here so i mean you probably don't need to do everything i'm talking about here but if you just want a smoother experience uh that's my recommendation all right so we're gonna head to avinson avenue and uh third street next journey all right see y'all then